this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am doing another challenge against I, Ballistic Squid. This is the Spin to Win Challenge, and uh, no surprise, we are going to be doing a lot of spinning. Uh, this is kind of similar to the, uh, the Don't Stop Challenge, uh, if you saw that, uh, where we taped our controller so we were continually walking either forward or backwards. This time, we're taping it, so we're going to be always either spinning to the right or to the left. And so there's two things that we need to do in the challenge. The first thing we need to do is to make an iron golem. And you can see we already have two blocks of iron here. Uh, we just need to make the arms and the head uh, to make the, uh, the iron golem. So a, a pumpkin and two blocks of iron. And then we need to feed our iron golems. And iron golems love to eat pumpkin pie. Of course they do. <laughs> and so we then need to make a pumpkin pie. Uh, we throw it down here uh, for the, uh, the golem. And then we win. Uh, but yeah, it sounds very simple, but we're going to be continually spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning like this. So um, yeah, this is going to be a big, uh, a big challenge. And do you like our houses, by the way? <laughs> For the, the first time, Squid Nugget helped me uh, build the little spawn area here. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we made a few fun additions to our, to our houses so they look better than they normally do. Anyway, uh, it's uh, becoming night time, so we should probably get to bed. Oh yeah, you might have noticed as well, I'm turning quite slowly uh, to make this challenge work. Uh, I've put my sensitivity uh, way down, uh, so it's at 50% uh, right now. We're not, it's just 50 points or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, which is uh, less than half of what it normally is. So we are going to be spinning quite slowly. So uh, let's go and sleep. And uh, while I'm in bed, I'm going to go and try and tape up my controller. So I'm going to tape it uh, first to the, the right. Oop, pressing the wall buttons all over the place here. Yeah, I'm going to tape it to the, the right first, uh, which means... Uh, when I wake up, I'm going to be continually spinning in circles to the right. And uh, we are allowed to kind of nudge the controller a bit so we can kind of look up and down. As long as we're continually spinning, uh, then it's okay. Then we're allowed to, uh, to to move up and down a little bit like this. Uh, but yeah, it's as long as we, we stay spinning, uh, then it's okay. I'm just trying to, <laughs> to, to look down a little bit right now. Okay, this is already a challenge. I'm just trying to, to look down so I can pull the, the lever here to say that, uh, that I'm ready. I don't know if I did my, my tape a little bit too tight here, but <laughs> this is a, a bad start already. Well, let me try and readjust the uh, the tape a little bit like that there we go so now i'm spinning uh, but i still have a um a little bit of control uh, so i can look up and down so uh, once i've uh, finished my my next spin i'm gonna go and try and pull the the lever here which says i'm ready can i get it this time there we go i've pulled the lever to say i'm ready and squid nuggets ready as well uh, which means uh, we're allowed to to begin so the first thing i need to do is to try and get some iron i guess so uh, what i'm gonna do and I'm going to go and try and... Oh, there's a creeper! There's a creeper! The creeper seems to be going after Squid Nugget and not me. So let's go off in this direction. Actually, uh, there's a... um. There's a village over here. Uh, I could actually go and have a look to see if there's uh, anything in the uh, in the the blacksmith. Uh, if there's uh, some iron in the chest, then that could be a a very big advantage uh, very early on. And so I think the best way to to do this is to to spin in third person view because I'm going to be like sometimes walking forward and sometimes walking sideways and sometimes uh, walking backwards. I think if I try and control like this, uh, this is going to be the uh, the most efficient way uh, to get around. And all. Oh, it looks like there's a... Uh, can I even get up to it? No, it looks like I need to, to break a block and pile up uh, so I can get into the, the blacksmith. But first, I need to actually be able to break a block. There we go. I was able to break a block. But now, can I place the block? I need to place it about there and then jump up. There we go. That wasn't that wasn't too bad, was it? Now I can make my way inside, try and open the chest. There we go. I was able to open the chest. And oh, I got a diamond, uh, some food, and oh, an iron helmet. Do not mind if I, if I do. There we go. I didn't get any uh, actual iron, uh, but I did get a few supplies, and there does seem uh, to be a bit of a, a cave down here. So, as I said, the first thing I want to do is go mining for some iron, uh, but I, of course, need to first make myself a, a stone pickaxe. So, it looks like I need to punch some trees. So, I guess if I kind of spin around the tree while I'm breaking it, uh, that's going to be the uh, the best way uh, to be able to destroy it. And I think instead of trying to uh, break down an entire tree, if I just kind of do the, the bottom two blocks on the, the tree, I think that's going to be the uh, the easiest way to, to do this. So I need uh, 18 uh, blocks of iron. Uh, well, 18 uh, iron ingots, sorry, uh, is what I need uh, in order to, to make the, uh, the block. So uh, let's go now and grab uh, a few more uh, pieces of wood here. And uh, then I can make a crafting table. So I'm going to, of course, need uh, to make a wooden pickaxe first, uh, just so I can gather the, the stone in the, the first place. There we go. I was able to place it down, and uh, now I can use it. 
Uh, let's go and make myself a, uh, a wooden pickaxe. And sorry if you start feeling sick at all during this. <laughs> I, d- I think it's going to be okay. The reason, uh, well, one of the reasons we decided to spin so slowly uh, was the hope that people uh, wouldn't get too sick during this. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it's going to be okay. It should, it should be all right. I'm actually uh, handling this okay. So let's go and uh, break away a few more pieces of wood because uh, I'm probably going to want to make some torches and things while I'm uh, down in the, the cave. Uh, luckily, uh, iron uh, can actually spawn uh, quite close to the the surface so hopefully I'm not gonna have to go uh, digging down too deep so once I've got a, a couple more blocks of wood uh, that should be more than uh, enough that I'm gonna need uh, for the uh, the entire uh, series so uh, I now just need to go and try and find the the cave I might as well go and grab my uh, crafting table again actually so I can um uh, use this uh, down in the the cave if I need it and right let's go to the the cave then which was somewhere around here let's just wait for me to uh, carry on spinning around I think this is the the cave I saw it doesn't really matter which cave though to be honest and uh, let's go and first uh, go and gather some uh, some stone because I'm pretty sure that you can't uh, gather um uh, iron uh, with a, uh, a wooden pickaxe so I am probably going to have to, to upgrade and it's also going to be a good idea to make a stone sword because I am going to be going down to a cave and it is also going to be night later on so I do want to be uh, definitely prepared for that so let's try and get a little bit more stone if I can if I kind of break some over here can I get it there we go I was able to get that bit <laughs> I just need to see which blocks I can break quick enough before I carry on spinning but here we go if I put my uh, crafting table back down here I can now make myself a, uh, a few stone tools so I can make a stone pickaxe and should also, uh, there we go, uh, be able to, to make myself a, a stone sword as well. So let's go and uh, try and grab myself a, a little bit of uh, iron then, shall we? Um, I need to, to wait until I've finished spinning round again, <laughs> then I can start digging. Uh, but now I've got this, uh, uh, this uh, stone pickaxe, I should be able to go down a lot quicker. And actually... It seems uh, like this cave doesn't really lead to anywhere, so uh, let's go try and find ourselves a... Um, uh, a better cave uh, that goes down a little bit deeper because it's uh, really hard for me to look down uh, I'm really going to have to rely on finding a, a natural cave uh, rather than just being able to, to dig down uh, which I might have been able to do otherwise right let's go and uh, carry on spinning my way down oh there's a little bit of a scary drop there I can't really look down so I don't really know uh, what I'm going down to it's a little bit spooky it would be nice uh, to find at least some coal now uh, so I can start trying to light up the area and oh that was quite a big drop right hopefully there's going to be no googlies down here i did spot some coal uh, but it's a little bit too high up for me there so uh, let's just go and go down a little bit further and uh, hopefully i'm going to run into a little bit more coal down here i can't actually see anything <laughs> i might uh, have to go and uh, pile up a little bit of cobblestone and uh, go and get that coal and then i can start trying to to light up the the area so uh, where was the the coal was it somewhere around here uh, let me try and just start building and jumping up if i can i'm gonna have to go and look as far down as I can I just need to make sure that I'm still continually spinning right I'm still spinning at the moment it looks like I can't build there there seems to be some sort of roof there we go I've gone a little bit higher uh, hopefully I can I can find where the the coal is right here's the the coal here on my my next rotation <laughs> I can go and mine it a little bit and then I can go and make some some torches so I've actually got a relatively deep pretty fast here so I got a, a good chance of being able to, to find uh, some um, uh, iron already so let's go and uh, make uh, a few of these torches and I can place some of these down so I can finally uh, actually see what it is I'm doing and there we go oh, isn't that nice <laughs> isn't that nice for me to finally be able to, to see what it is I'm doing so let's go and uh, grab a, a little bit more of this coal uh, so I can make some more torches as I go and then let's go as fast as I can and uh, go and try and get some of this uh, this iron then shall we it's going to be uh, very very important because I've got the tools I've got everything I need now uh, all I need is the iron but luckily I've not really gone very far from the, the house. I don't want to dig too deep because uh, I don't want a, a challenge to try and find my way back to the, the houses uh, once we get to the surface. So there should be uh, enough coal for now. And uh, let's see if um, uh, this tunnel continues. Oh, the tunnel doesn't seem to continue uh, in any direction. I mean, I could just dig like this and uh, hope to get iron, but it's going to be very hard uh, for me to dig in one direction. So I'm not thinking uh, that this is going to be a very good idea. Uh, but yeah, I was able to... Uh, to get a bit of coal and things though so now uh, let's just go and try and find uh, another cave if I can so I'm going to go and uh, pile back up here <laughs> and come straight back out uh, the way I went in I might have to use a little bit of this wood to, to pile up actually just so I can get out uh, but this shouldn't be too big of a problem and actually does the cave uh, continue around here at all I need to 
uh, look up a little bit. I can put another torch down so I can see what I'm doing and just see if I get lucky if there's any iron around here. Nope, that seems just to be another small area. So uh, let's actually just break away a little bit more of this stone. Uh, one, just in case there is some lucky iron behind it. And also, uh, so then that way we can use this stone uh, to be able to, to pile back up. So I get a little bit worried now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit slow. I'm feeling like I've not done very much. Um, but yeah, I'm just starting to, uh, to get used to being continually spinning, to be honest. That's the, <laughs> that's the big challenge here. The challenge isn't getting the, the iron. The challenge is just to be used to continually spinning. Right, I can carry on uh, piling my way out here, though. And uh, hopefully get my way back to the surface. Can I go up this way? Nope. Uh, aha, is this where the, the surface is? It seems to be getting a, a little bit lighter up here. So, yep, here we go. I can go and try and jump my way out here. If I go and break away a few of these blocks, I might be able to make a staircase. And there we go. I kind of just need to guess. There we go. I'm back up to the, the surface, at least. So, I didn't get very lucky with that cave. Uh, but now I can go and wander around and uh, hopefully try and find a, uh, another cave uh, that's going to go down uh, a little bit deeper. Let's go and uh, wander off in this direction. It seems to be uh, pretty much the, uh, the opposite direction uh, that Squid Nugget went in, but that's okay. It's kind of uh, okay to, to split off and go different ways. At least we're not going to be getting in each other's way that way. At least we're not going to be uh, fighting over the, the same things. <laughs> All right, so let's just wander around and uh, see if we can find a, uh, another cave uh, that will hopefully lead us to some iron. Iron's normally like the easiest thing to, to find, but I think I was, um, I was pretty unlucky to not find uh, any iron in either uh, of those two caves. So let's go and uh, let's have a look around this way. There's not much point uh, climbing the, the mountain, really, because uh, I'm not going to find any iron up there. So let's just go and uh, wander around this way and to see if there's going to be uh, any more entrances uh, to caves in, in this direction. I just want to make sure uh, that I don't wander off too far uh, away from the, the houses, because I'm going to have to uh, go and head back there to smelt the iron and uh, build the iron golem as well. And I guess I might as well uh, be looking out for, for pumpkins at the, the same time. I mean, the goal is is that you're supposed to make the iron golem uh, and then make the uh, the pumpkin pie, uh, but we do need pumpkins uh, to, to make the iron golem anyway, so I guess I can look for that already. And oh, there's a, a pit of lava lava down there. I do not uh, want to be heading down there. I can't actually find any more entrances uh, to caves around here. I'm feeling I'm feeling rather unlucky, to be honest. I, I feel like I'm doing everything right, but I'm just getting unlucky. <laughs> right, let's just go and keep uh, heading off in uh, in this direction, shall we? Oh, is there a is there an entr entrance to a, a cave around here? I wouldn't mind getting into a, a cave now, seeing as it's night time, there's going to be googlies. Nope, it was just a, a little bit of a, a pond. So let's go and uh, keep heading off in, uh, in this direction then, and uh, see if we can find an entrance to a cave. Because it's going to be pretty much impossible uh, for me to just dig down anywhere. Uh, yeah, just because I'm constantly spinning like this, <laughs> I kind of need to rely on caves uh, rather than digging straight down. So let's just go and uh, keep heading in, in this direction and just uh, see what it is I'll be able to, to find. I do think this is the, the way that squid uh, went as well. Uh, so I might uh, run him, uh, run into him on his journeys. I'm quite glad I found this helmet as well. Uh, just that little bit of uh, extra protection, uh, the little armor, uh, does make me feel a little bit more confident, seeing as I am uh, wandering around at night time, and the uh, the googlies are going to be spawning soon. Uh, but look, there's just no, there's no entrances to caves anywhere. Oh look, but look at this! I have found pumpkins though. Aha! My my random wanderings have uh, have proved beneficial. Right. Uh, so this is uh, one of the, the main things I needed. Uh, so I'm going to go and grab, I need two pumpkins because I need uh, one pumpkin uh, to make the, oh, got rid of my torch. <laughs> one pumpkin to, uh, to make the, uh, the iron golem and uh, one pumpkin uh, to make the, uh, the pumpkin pie as well. So there we go. I was able to, to grab uh, a couple of these pumpkins at least. Uh, so that was rather handy. And so now it's literally just uh, I need the, the iron and uh, then I can go and do the, the iron golem. So uh, let's wander around here for a little bit and uh, just see if we can find the, the entrance to a, uh, another cave. Um, as I said, I don't want to go too far away uh, from the, the house because uh, I want to make sure I can find it again. Even though there is a big beacon, uh, it is uh, very easy to, to get lost and uh, not find your way home, and that wouldn't be uh, particularly helpful. And oh, aha! <laughs> looks like I looks like I just stumbled right into a, a cave. Does this go down? It does. Right. This is good. This has some uh, some good iron potential around it. And aha! I found some iron. <laughs> I guess it definitely did have some good iron potential. So I need to try and look up a little bit uh, while remembering to, to keep on spinning like this. And uh, now I just need to try and mine the iron. There doesn't seem to be a huge amount here, but hopefully there's going to be more iron behind these. Nope. It was only two blocks of iron, so um, yeah, that's not going to help a huge amount, but at least I've got some. At least like I, I feel like I have uh, made some progress uh, towards the, the iron, but it is a, a dark cave we're going into now, so I do uh, want to make 
make sure I am being very careful as I walk around here. Uh, and oh look, there's more iron up here actually. This is good. This is uh, definitely uh, a good cave. Now all I need to do is wait to, to spin around again <laughs> and uh, make sure I can actually mine the iron. I've got to keep spinning and there we go. And look, there's uh, more behind it as well. Can I get that bit? I did, but I just need to, to break the, the block underneath it as well. And uh, then I can go and mine uh, the, uh, yeah, go and grab that iron as well. Uh, let's go and break this away. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Get the iron, get the iron. Did I get it? Uh, I'm not sure if I did or not. I think I need to break, uh, break this uh, uh, dirt away as well. And then I'll be able to, to grab the iron that I mined. Quick, break it, break it, break it, break it. Oh, no, I think I, I think I might have grabbed it then. Okay, let's go and uh, uh, carry on uh, heading down the mine. It seems to be good. This is nice because I'm getting lots of iron, uh, but I've not gone down very deep yet, which is good, uh, which means I should be able to, to find my way uh, back out of this uh, cave uh, very easily. My only big worry is that I've not really faced any googlies yet, and trying to fight something while spinning around like this is going to be... Uh, problematic. <laughs> I think zombies I'll be okay with. Skeletons are going to be more tricky, but I might just be able to, to kind of run away from them. Uh, but yeah, things like creepers? What am I going to do if I see a creeper? Like, it's so hard for me to run away from anything. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to try and be as very careful as I can. And uh, yeah, try and take things slowly. And oh, I saw some. Look, there's some more iron on the, the ceiling over here. So if I try and keep spinning. Oh, look, there's quite a lot of iron up here as well. This is good. This is handy. So remember, it's 18 pieces uh, that, I, that I need uh, to get overall. And uh, I'm probably... Uh, I'm probably not too far off being halfway there. Yeah, I've got six uh, pieces already. So that's uh, only three uh, pieces away uh, from being able to, to make my first uh, iron block. So let's go and uh, try and slowly <laughs> look down and uh, keep uh, making my way uh, into, this, uh, into this cave. So uh, let's try and find out where I need to go. Oh, that looks like it leads back to, to the outside. Uh, can I actually go down uh, any deeper? I don't know if it actually leads any deeper, this cave. I could kind of break my way through here and uh, just see if there's any iron around here. Uh, but I think that, yeah, this is just going to go and uh, lead me back up to the, the surface. And that's not what I want. Uh, I want to go and try and stay down here uh, for as long as I can uh, to grab as much iron as I can. This place has seemed good to me so far, so I don't uh, want to, to run away uh, from it yet. I could look up there a little bit. Uh, I think... Uh, which way did I come in from? Uh, I don't know if I've explored uh, all of the uh, the different paths that I could have gone off in. Uh, I think this might have been the way I came in from. But let me just see if I could have gone off uh, in any different directions. I'm not sure if I could. No, this is just leading me back uh, to the surface over here. I could actually go down this way a little bit. Uh, let's go and have a little bit of a, a wander down here. And if I just... Oh, oh, I can hear googlies. I can hear googlies. That was a zombie. That was a zombie. I think zombies I should be able to, to deal with. They're not particularly tough. That did scare me, though. Just that random groan <laughs> did make me uh, worry just a, a little bit. Right, it looks like there isn't anything there. Uh, so I'm going to go to the... You know the place where I saw the, the gravel? Uh, where I grabbed some iron earlier. I'm going to go and actually go up there and uh, just see if that leads to uh, to anywhere else uh, that I haven't been before. So I think it was down uh, this way somewhere and around here. Uh, let me just... Yeah, I think it's right here. So I don't have a, a shovel, uh, so I'm just going to use the, the sapling to dig instead. <laughs> and I should be able to make a little staircase uh, that I should be able to, to climb up on. So if I try and jump up backwards like this and wait for me to spin around again, I am getting a little bit dizzy now, to be honest. I'm actually looking forward to the, the second half of the, the challenge uh, where we get to spin around in the, in the other direction. I just think that that might be just a, a bit of a, a nice change after only spinning one way. And I'm not actually sure if there's uh, anything uh, else up here. Let's just break away a few more uh, so then I can pile up uh, just in case there is uh, any more iron uh, hiding behind any of these gravel blocks. If I break this away and then break away the next one, uh, no, I wasn't able to. I just want to break away enough uh, so I'm going to be able to, to pile up and so I can see if there's anything else up there. I can hear um, googlies around here, which does make me think uh, that there might be more caves. Uh, but then again, they could just be, yeah, I think they just might be googlies uh, on, the, on the surface. So I think I'm going to ignore this cave for now. And I'm going to go for uh, another wonder and uh, just see if I can find uh, another one. And if I get close to the house, it might also be a good idea uh, just to put my pumpkins away in a chest. Uh, just so I know that I, I have them safe. Because I do not uh, want to lose those pumpkins. They are very, very precious right now. So I want to uh, make sure I hold on. To, to them so I think the the surface should be kind of be right above me here as if I just kind of dig up like this am I going to get to the surface or not uh yep there we go there's the the surface up here like this as if I just keep kind of digging my way up 
uh, I should be able to, to get back out. And then I'm going to go and try and find uh, another cave. So that wasn't a great cave. I thought it was going to go better than it was. Uh, but it just didn't seem very deep. I feel like if it went further, uh, then I would have been uh, okay. and might have found some more. But it, I just didn't get very far into it. But no worries. I didn't waste uh, too much time. Uh, so now I should be ready to, to carry on wandering. And to see if I can find uh, another cave. I have kind of lost my uh, my sense of direction a little bit. I don't actually know. Ooh, careful. Oh, nope. <laughs> I fell in a puddle. Oh, brilliant. Now I'm stuck spinning around in a puddle. Right, let's just try and uh, pile up a little bit of cobblestone. There we go. Now I can go and pile my way back out. Yeah, I have kind of lost direction a little bit as to, to where the, the house is. But for now, uh, I really just need to, to get a move on and to try and make sure... I can get as much iron as I can. So I haven't actually tried sprinting. Oh, look, there's the, the houses over there. I've not gone too far. If I kind of go slowly when I'm facing, like, the way I don't want to go, and then as soon as I face the way I want to go, I can start sprinting again. And that, that might actually be a, a good way uh, to get around the, the place faster. I never really uh, thought about doing that before. And oh, ow, 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 oh no, oh no, there's a spider jockey. What are the chances of that? Take out the spider jockey. Now take out the, the spider. I need to look down a little bit more. I've got to keep spinning though. Woo! That was um a little bit scary. Uh, we do both have uh, one golden apple each, uh, which we can use if we get into a, a dangerous situation like that. And I uh, very almost did need to, to do so there. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, keep heading my... Uh, my way around this way and to see if we can find many caves there's there's hardly any good caves normally uh, no matter where you go you can find all of these big ravines and caves where you can go and grab uh, a whole load of iron very early on but uh, yeah we don't seem to be getting very lucky let's go and have a little bit of a look around here i don't think there was any clay caves uh, right next to the the house uh, so let's go and uh, head a little bit around here because it's becoming day again which means i've spent an entire day and an entire night looking for iron and I've found seven pieces. So, yeah, it's not been the, the best progress. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Creeper, 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 creeper. Ooh. That could have been dangerous. <laughs> well, it was dangerous. It ended up okay. But, yeah, that was... um. That was a little bit scary then. <laughs> I have no control trying to run away from these things. And there's a, a little bit of a cave down here. Am I going to go and get lucky and find a little bit of a, of iron just hiding out down here? Of course not. That would be uh, way too lucky for me just to find some down here. So, nope. Uh, I could kind of look um around this way a little bit and to see if I could find any around this direction. All I'm looking for is a cave. I'm not, like, expecting, like, a cave with, like, an iron... I don't know, trophy just at the very entrance of it. All I want is just a place so I can actually search for the <laughs> for the iron. At least it's day now. And oh, okay, there seems to be a big drop here. And uh, I might want to be careful before I just dive straight into it. Actually, it looks okay. I should be all right uh, just to, to drop down. And uh, now I can go and start exploring this cave. But sadly, uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in this uh, episode here. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, this is not the, the end of the, the spin to win challenge. Uh, we will keep going until we have a winner. Uh, so I'll be leaving a link in the description uh, to part number two uh, of the, uh, the challenge. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!